Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another tutorial with flower seed beads earrings with fringes. If you want you could do only the top part without the fringes but I think they are so cool that's why I'm showing them. If you are a beginner don't worry because I'm showing everything really easy and step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting. In this way you help me so much. You might also support me by becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page to see them. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads, white, pink, dark pink, red, turquoise and black. Here I'm using earring finding sliver bags, use others of your choice if you want. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm picking up 12 of those beautiful red beads. I'm sliding those down. I'm sticking my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling gently and then I make one more knot. Okay, and I have this now. In my next step I'm going through some beads in this direction. In my next step I'm picking up dark pink bead, light pink bead and dark pink bead and I skip the one that's on my way, the red one that's on my way and I go through the following. I repeat the same thing. Skip one and go through the following. And again. And I will continue this three more times until the end of this row. Okay, and here at my last step I'm going through the same red bead that I've been through when I did my first step. Okay, and it goes in a circle. Now I want to go through one of those dark pink beads and I take two light pink beads, one white and two light pink beads. Okay, then I go like this and I'm exiting through the next pink. I repeat the same sequence, two light pink, one white and two light pink and I go like this. My goal is to exit through one of my next dark pink beads. Okay, I take the same sequence and until the end of this row guys, I will continue this.
and at my last step I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. In my next step I want to go through these two beads, the white and the pink after that. And I'm adding black, turquoise black. And I go guys through the top three beads of my next petal. And again. Again the same thing. And I continue this three more times. Okay, my friends, and now I added my last three beads from this row. Now I'm gonna be adding black, white, black, and I will be connecting this white top bead with the turquoise bead. I take the same sequence, I'm exiting out of turquoise and I go in the next middle white bead. And I'm connecting the middle white beads with the turquoise beads with black, white, black. Okay, black, white, black, middle white, black, white, black, middle turquoise. And again, black, white, black, middle, white. Black, white, black, middle, turquoise. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm going here in this white bead at my next step, at my last step. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I want to exit through one of the white beads. And I'm going to add five white beads and I go in the next white And in this row, guys, I'm just going to connect all the white beads around the edge with another five, with another five white beads. And because it is really easy and pleasant and done absolutely the same way, just add five, five, five and meet me here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads. Okay, and I'm going through the very first white bead where I started the whole row from. Now, now don't worry that it bends a little bit, we'll fix it. Now what I want to do is to go through three of those five beads that I added in my previous row. And I take four black beads and I go in the next white. Okay, four again. Go in the next white. four more and now you go here through the third one counting from the angle which is the middle one of the five that you 
added in your previous steps because here you have two bits and here you have the two bits and so this means that this is the middle one and continue these guys until the end of this row okay I will continue off camera and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last four bits from this row now I will go through these four as well and I'm taking a seed bit, an earring finding and a seed bit and I go like this then usually what I would like to do guys is to reinforce this step and how I do this I go in this direction And I want to exit through as many beads as I can here. So when I go like this, I am able to reinforce my joint. Now what I want to do is go at the opposite side here and it's really easy to do this By the way, you could finish your earring like this without adding the fringes, but now I will show you how to do this. Okay, my friends, and I'm exiting here one bit before this white angle here. Okay, and what I want to take are two black beads and I'm going here in the next black one. And when I pull, I have this. Then I'm going to take just one black and I go back in circle through these two blacks in this direction and I pull. Then I will go through the white and through the following black one like this. I will take just one black and I'm going back through this black through the white and through the next black one and I want to go also through the next black and I'm taking one black and I go back in circle like this and then like this okay now this is the basis guys of my five fringes that I'm gonna be adding I'll pick up the first long sequence and I'll be back and the first sequence that I'm picking up guys consists of 10 black beads 3 turquoise beads 3 red beads 3 dark pink beads 3 light pink beads and 6 white beads okay and now I'm going to skip these 3 white beads and I'll go through the all of the, the other beads Okay, I'm pulling. And I will go here through this one. And what I want to do is go here like that. Now I'm in a position to make my next fringe. I'll pick up the long sequence that I need for it and I'll be back. Next fringe guys consists of 15 black beads, 3 turquoise, 3 red, 3 dark pink, 3 light pink and 6 white and this sequence is the same just here I have with 5 more black beads than in my previous fringe. Thank you. 
and I'll show you one more time how I'm going through all of those beads here and pulling. If you don't like how it sits, just fix it a little bit and pull again. Pull it from here, push it and then pull from here. Okay, and I'm going through all of my beads. And pull. Then what I want to do guys is go here through these three beads. You could directly go in the neighbor bead, but I prefer to go like this to make it tighter. Okay. And here I think you can guess what's coming up next. You will take 20 black beads and this familiar sequence after that. Okay guys, and I have 20 black beads and this familiar sequence that you see written on your screens. Now I will skip this and I will go back through all of those. I will exit out of my next bead and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I have my last fringe added. It consists of 10 black beads and then the same sequence as before. Now I will skip these three, I will go back and I'll be back. Okay my friends, and now my fringes are ready. So what I want to do now is go through some beads in this direction. And I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I just make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my flower fringe seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment in this way, you help me so much. If you want, you might support me as a member that comes with perks that you could check in the description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.